Hello, welcome to the final episode of my Love and Lonely Playthrough. Sort of. Hopefully. <laughs> so, those of you who have been uh, reading my blatherings on the Gamers of Jobs forum about this know that I beat the final boss. And for reasons that you will understand if you don't, soon, died five minutes later before the game gave me a chance to save. Well, I'm just saying, I don't understand the concept. <laughs> uh, and I said, I love you too, Lama Lana. So, I'm gonna go beat it again. I think I have the strategy down enough. That this won't be a problem, but it is still a tricky boss. Spoilers. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. Okay, here we go. Okay, what's next? What's next? Okay, okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's right. This is my super safe strat. Super safe. Takes longer, but guaranteed no damage taken, which I like. Super safe strats. So, after this, I don't know. Like, I don't know where the game is going to lead me. Whether it's going to be, you know, credits roll, and this save game that I just loaded is, you know, where I'll have to start again, or whether it'll leave me in a position where I can chase some of the unfinished puzzles. Cause I still have some stuff I haven't figured out. There's like stuff that I can see but can't get to. Walls that seem like I should be able to break them somehow, but none of my weapons damage. Stuff like that I don't want to figure out. And I know that there is a hidden area. There we go. Hate this part. Final stage. Sort of. <laughs> okay, how did I do this last time? Start with the flare gun. Use up all my ammo. 
This would be the time to bust out my pistol. I wish I get that one. Um, but the pistol is just like not easy to aim at all. And I'm doing a lot of damage with this whip right now. That attack is actually, as long as I don't get killed by it, great for... Yeah, that one's good. Let's do it. Okay, here's the last one. Disappointed if I got it on my <laughs> first try, first fifteenth try. Stupidest jerk enemies in the game. There's a lot of 
I think I need to break out some more weaponry at the end there. The other foot place connected? No, it's not. Um, the insurance guy and then there's something else. Cell phone? No, that was the cell phone store. I don't remember. They're just like separate entities. They're all Asian. Yeah, I think it's like a And then you go in and there's like a. So then I wandered over to the... What is it? Oh, sneaky! Oh, sneaky! Although I don't know if you get medication spilled or... You sneaky sneak. And I'm looking at these bottles, and yeah, no, listen, because there's just bottles. I don't have any other use for throwing stars in this fight, so... And there's a picture of a booze on this. <laughs> this is their time to shine. Push, uh, Trusty throwing stars. Oh, Show me how many bosses I've cheesed with those things. Is it for the goose? Or does it have goose in it? Or like, I don't even know what this is. What is this? Is it to feed? I really don't know. And there's about eight other things that are like, these random... I mean, honestly, oh. I don't think it's going to be looking at all the stuff in the shelf. I'm not sure what triggers that. What about positioning in there? Save those for last. Yeah. I'll save those for later. I think it's really hard. Oh, actually, for this first part, I can just do an unusual strat, can't I? Save strats. Thank you. 
Dennis and get in the car after we Mama, I don't like this. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the hard part. <laughs> and then she goes, oh, I'm gonna have to <laughs> spend some time parsing the meaning of that. That last part. Was that embryo thing the mother? Was the mother pregnant with another mother being? Gotta dodge. Yeah. I feel like Dennis gets more attention. Go, 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 go. Go, go, gadget rope. Okay, so my goal at the moment is I want to try and get to Mulbert's room at three and a half minutes.
Back up's gonna be the hard part. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yes. I'm just having Crib. She was fine, but it's like she wasn't quite laid all the way down, so it just, like, it just it kind of felt like she just, like, chucked her in the crib and, like, she's... Oh, the feels. I mean, she didn't. She didn't make a peep. She did. I just all the feelings, my friends. Okay, I'm going to be like... Come with us, Zelpid. <laughs> Random villager. Child. You. That guy. PC shop girl. Well, Dad did a lot more. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have been playing this game for so long. This is just weird to, to be to seeing the credit screen. Health fairy. Great fairy. One of the four philosophers. Other of the four philosophers. The weird sacrificial virgin. Fourth philosopher. Key Fairy, Nagoro Staff. I mean, I'm not, you know, it's just, I, I doesn't, I might do it. Oh, man. So cute. Cute to the bitter end. Oh man, the credit screen. This is unreal. I'm a Nagoro fan now. I accept your thanks, Nagoro. I'm really sad, honestly, that I, I didn't like play and learn how much I liked Lama Lana until the Lama Lana 2 Kickstarter was already over. So, like, I, <laughs> I found out about it sometime through my Lama Lana playthrough, or it came to my... Uh, maybe I had seen it, but ignored it, because I even hadn't even played the first one. Then I, I played it long enough to know I loved it, and then looked at the Kickstarter and it ended, and I felt really sad. So I'm just gonna be one of those slackers that pays full price for their game when it comes out. No, I run. <laughs> Zuma's really stocky compared to all the other characters. Hey, what the? Dad! That was mine! 
Where is my secret treasure of life? Oh! Get back up, Zelpid. No! No Zelpid left behind! I am the strongest archaeologist. Achievement get. What happened to Zelpid? Playtime 65 hours is a lie, by the way. Is nothing gonna happen? I don't think anything else is gonna happen here. I don't know. I'm always <laughs> really scared to press a button during the credit screen because I have missed entire sequences. I think it was The Witcher 2, I accidentally hit a button on the controller and then I had to rewatch the credits to get to that final hidden movie. Okay, so we're gonna hit a button here. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. What happens if I continue here? Back to here. So, I can try and solve the rest of the stuff now that I know that beating the game doesn't change anything. The wind sure is howling today. Indeed. Indeed. So, here's what I have to figure out yet. Have yet to figure out. Hell Temple area. I don't know how to get to it. I don't know where it's hidden. I have a hint as to where it's hidden. Uh, let me change my layout here. No. I'm pretty sure it's where the Horsehead and ox face fight was down here through chamber of birth. Down this way. area. With Ox Head and Horse Face. It's either here or it's the split gate in the lobby, but in either case, I don't know how to activate them. I'll go through and hit the floor. Such is life in this game. Let's see. Gotta hit all the floors. Oh, 
around it. This is related to it at all? This just seems like a death trap. So I've got to figure that puzzle out, and then the other one is... Uh, here... There's basically four things I'm trying to... I think I have yet to figure out. Or at least four... Well... There's this doorway right here. I don't know how to... I don't know how to get into it. I think it might be where Malbrook's father is that she hints at some of her dialogue being hiding where n no one would think they could get to. So this is this is my prime suspect for that. No, no idea. No idea. If I could push that block over there into that hole and have it persist over here. I think that would be it, but it doesn't persist if you knock it in the hole. I thought I'd, I think I gave a good amount of tries trying to get one of those shield guys up here and freeze time and try and jump on his head and throw him the door, but that didn't work. Okay, so that's one puzzle. Let me show you uh, the other two. Get out of here. No. Get out. There's a... Um, Where is it? Going this way. There's an area that... Here it is. This stupid thing. I don't know how to get into it. Don't know how to get in. Don't know how to do it.
Okay, and then the this is the last part. I guess this is sort of the honorable mentions for puzzles I must solve. Crosses of light objects. I have no idea what they're for. They lit up after I got all the man the mantras mantras. Uh, they're shown on the maps for Pete's sake. I have no clue. I don't know what they do. Yeah. No idea what they do. I tried everything. As far as I know, I tried all the... The only thing that I suspect I might need to try is correlating... Ooh, like, if you lined up this area and the area on the other side of the ruins from it, whether it would match up in a certain way, and there's something on the other side that I need to hit. Here's the last one. Oh, where is it? Uh, it's staring at these maps or something. This way. And there are a few other hints that I've seen that I haven't figured out. I've got them all written down somewhere, but these are the locations at least where I've identified that there's something weird going on. Ow. Okay. Here's one. Part of me is worried that I have to go and visit some of these things while I'm trying to escape. There's a wall here that's protected by that eye. And if we... Let's put on the... Extend the invincibility time. You can hear it's making the, the breakable block noise. But none of my weapons, none of my sub-weapons, have any... In fact, like they don't make it do the breaking animation where you can tell that it's actually getting hit. It just does that that smack noise. So, don't know what to do. Uh, I said there's some other unsolved mysteries. There are a lot of a lot of hints surrounding this this thing. Not this thing. This thing. Something about... Well, you can read it for yourself. No, not that one. This one. It says you need to land on the floating platform with a lot of power, but as far as I can tell, you don't have to land on anything in order to use this at the very beginning of the game. So... What is it talking about? I don't know. I don't think there's any floating platform in this room as far as I've been able to tell by just jumping around over and over again. Nothing breakable in the wall. So was this just... for use in making the giants do those certain things in those early puzzles? Or, there, or is there some kind of floating platform we need to land on? I don't know. So, that and I'm missing one of the games. Don't know where I missed it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have all of these. Got all the items. The last seal is the secret treasure of life you get when you beat the boss. 
Let's report. Let's status report. I don't know. I don't know how hard I'm gonna try to figure that stuff out. Because I think a lot of it will just boil down to a lot of this walking around, hitting every floor. Jumping into everything, second guessing everything. So, I'll probably spend a little bit more time trying to figure out. I'll go through and look at the hints that I have again. give it a, some kind of cut off where I can just say alright I'm just gonna look it up I really feel like this does something if you start the final fight Without the elixir, you get sucked in and spit out here. Maybe that's all it is, but these creepy glowing faces make me think otherwise. There's something to do here. We're here. I'm gonna end it there. Hope you enjoyed seeing the end of the game, and thanks for watching my videos. You guys are patient. I uh, hope you have a good rest of your week. See ya.